KDISD has decided to reintroduce some of the books initially banned in the district after backlash that some innocent children's books were pulled under those new school board guidelines. Joining us now is Cameron Samuels. Cameron is a former KDISD student and an activist. Thank you for joining us this morning, Cameron. Thank you. Yeah, I want you to tell us why you've been a champion for keeping books from being pulled, why you've decided to make this something, you know, that you're active about. Students need access to in lists of challenged books. Yeah, and so we wanted to talk to you this week because it's Banned Books Week. Uh, what is your message for KDISD and other districts, too, who are banning certain books? Well, in the past two academic school years, Texas has seen 1,426 book bans in just 34 school districts, according to PEN America research. This is a lot of book bans. And Ban Books Week is a celebration of diverse literature and also a call to action to stand up for our academic freedoms. And school districts statewide need to accept that diverse literature in school libraries is supporting students and that calls to censor books are harming students. Yeah, and it's interesting. I mean, obviously, we should mention that some school districts um, have done this in different ways. Some have said, hey, these books aren't totally banned. We'll keep them behind the counter. And so if a child wants to check it out, they need parental consent um, because a book maybe for a, you know, elementary school, a second grader may not be appropriate for the second grader, but it might for a fifth grader. Um, what do you think about this whole, you probably heard this last week, that Katie sort of walked back. They realized, oh, some children's books were swept up in this whole book ban because of illustrations or certain words in the books when they were innocent kids' books. I guess is that part of the problem? AISD overlooked age relevancy. There are books that can teach students about age relevant matters. And KDISD was overlooking this when it was attempting and banning many books that could teach students about important issues that are affecting their everyday experiences. But now they don't have access to that. And where are they going to learn about these issues? Students that don't have access to materials in their school libraries will learn this through their peers, which are often not taught in very conducive ways to their well-being. Yeah, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but can you give me an example of one of those books? Like a book that you thought was pulled that really could help students kind of learn. And again, I didn't tell you this question was coming, obviously, but... <laughs> Yeah, Flamer by Mike Curato is a great example of a widely challenged book. Mm -hmm. KDISD has removed it from school libraries after numerous reviews that held that the book was relevant and appropriate for high school libraries. Um, and high school students especially should be reading this book to understand that there are many issues in culture, mm -hmm. uh, in school culture, that could be addressed, that could be more conducive to students not being abused and students not being, uh, not facing a toxic culture in school locker rooms, for example. Uh, this could all be addressed by literature that teaches what could be right, what it could make a student's experience better in yeah. the long run. And not to dance around that flamer because I haven't heard about that book, but just the gist of that book is. It's a queer boy scout who was abused and faced this toxic environment in scouts. And scouts should be a great experience for anyone who participates. But this boy was deemed as too gay, too queer for the space and faced bullying and harassment and was amid the toxic culture that his peers shaped. And no student should go through that. And Flamer gave me words for my trauma experiencing similar situations. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Cameron, I appreciate you coming on and talking with us this morning. And, you know, thank you for being active in our community. It's Banned Books Week. We appreciate you coming in and talking with us on this important subject. Have Thank a great you so day. Much. Thank you.